Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, we are continuing our ongoing coverage of the war between the Russian Federation and Ukraine. Today, first, I would like to jump right in and have a look at the operational tempo that is taking place around Avdivka, the ongoing Russian offensive designed to encircle and take control of Avdivka. Is this starting to look a little familiar? And what I mean by that, it is starting to take on the hallmarks of the Battle of Bakhmut. The Ukrainian leadership continues to pour in troops and equipment to de defend Avdivka, uh, as do the Russians. Both sides, uh, one side seems to be willing to uh, expend all resources available uh, to hold on to the city, while the other side, the Russian side, looks to encircle and destroy those forces uh, in what has become the fortress city of Avdivka. Now, the Russians have made gains in the last uh, several days, several weeks. We will take a quick look at what has happened over the course of the last uh, few days. We'll go back to, let's say, the, uh, the 1st of October. And as we watch the Russian operation take place, you will see territory gained, and the encirclement, again, slowly starting to tighten around Adivka. So here we go from, from the first of the month. Now you can see this area here was where the Russians first launched major offensive operations. Uh, this was a multi-brigade attack. Uh, including dozens, uh, if not hundreds, of tanks, armored infantry fighting vehicles uh, attacking uh, towards the north, uh, designed to seize control of this uh, coke plant and the main railway line into the city of Avdivka. And then we'll continue on. And you can see where we're at now. So, did the Russians take casualties uh, in these ongoing operations, especially north of the city? Yes, absolutely they did. Uh, we believe, the Russians believed, that Ukrainian resistance uh, had been destroyed through the use of fixed-wing aircraft and a lot of artillery being deployed against the Ukrainians at which point the Russians have launched multiple exploitative uh, mechanized assaults uh, to try to get into the rear and attempt breakthroughs of Ukrainian positions. Uh, that failed for the Russians, at least in the northern sector. Again, when I mean failed, the Russians had anticipated a full encirclement of Adivka. They were met with stifling resistance from the Ukrainian military, which essentially foiled that plan. Now, the Russians have not quit. The Russians continue to attack both in the north and in the south uh, as these ongoing operations continue. Furthermore, the Ukrainians have uh, brought in massive amounts of reinforcements with the intent of not losing the city. So that operation continues, and uh, we anticipate we anticipate that the Russians will eventually encircle the city, and the Russians will eventually take control of Avdivka. Will that happen in the days ahead? Possibly. Will it take weeks, months? Quite possibly. Uh, we have we this war has shown the perseverance of both sides especially the battles for Bakhmut and other battles that are taking shape along the front line. We continue to watch uh, fighting very closely near uh, Kupiansk in the north, uh, as do we continue to watch limited Ukrainian infantry operations to the south in the Kherson region. Again, 
Uh, yes, the Ukrainians have crossed the Dnepro River, but they have not crossed in the numbers needed to launch exploitive operations designed to threaten the eastern bank and penetrating deeper towards Crimea. That is not taking place. Again, we are seeing small amounts of Ukrainian light infantry being landed. Those forces then act as artillery observers against Russian forces, but at the same time, Russian forces continue to attack those Ukrainian units in the area of operations. So again, we will continue to monitor very, very closely in the coming days and the coming weeks uh, as this conflict continues. Uh, we are watching a number of other conflicts as well, uh, such as Gaza and obviously the uh, war that is taking place in the Horn of Africa with the Ethiopian Civil War. So again, thank you for joining us. More to come very, very soon. And as always, have a good day.